everyone how are you all right don't wonder why i have my hat on um i'm trying to stretch it out and fix it and i'm also about to let you in on a little secret about how i cut my hair <laughs> last year february so i chopped my hair off a couple times last year My boyfriend was not a fan of me cutting it, but he has noticed that I like to mess with my hair. So why don't you show people how you do your hair? And I wasn't like, oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> he has arrived, guys. Okay, about to see him walk in the door. We're gonna pretend like that's not what we're doing. Pfizer guy. What, what'd you get? He's immune, guys. He's got his second dose of the vaccine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was the youngest person there by at least 40 years. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Mm. How do you feel? Uh, you feel better. You feel better. <laughs> you feel better. I don't want to discuss this. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, let me pause my camera and we can discuss. No, no, no. no? okay. All right, well, he feels fine. That's all we need sell, to know. Uh, did he sell? Sell what? Did you delete the app? No, I didn't. Did you delete the app? <laughs> you need to delete it. Guys, Put your sell order in I the am app. the newest and trader in town, and, and he went. is trying to rain on my parade. What's your goal? In 30 days, you want to. So a million dollars days. in 30 days. So we have a 30 day time horizon. So back to my hair. That was the stock tip of the day. When to buy, when to sell. I always want to buy when I see it going down and I want to sell as soon as I see it hit the bump. And I'm like, ooh, I got my money back. Let me sell. And he's like, hold, you don't have enough money to be day trading. I have enough money to be day trading. <laughs> I have five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money, because I know that I could lose it at any minute. That's the five hundred dollars I am willing to lose. But when I also see um, that money going up, I want to take my profit two dollars, three dollars. <laughs> I want to take whatever is in the grain. I do. I actually don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. So. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair, the style that I wanted, I ended up buying three different curl patterns from the <laughs> from the beauty supply store. The lady was in the store was laughing at me. So I got the sexy curl. That's that one. You know, by the time my hair is done, I'll be looking like her. Or the Brazilian French wave. I could look like her too. Or Angel's water wave. I could look like her too. So I am leaning more towards, um, well, I got those because, not because I'm crazy, but because I have vacation coming up very soon. Uh, and I wanted to do something with my hair um, that's much longer. I wanted to braid it in or something like that. Um, Maybe I will end up using those later on, but not right now. I'm leaning more towards the Brazilian French wave because it's shorter and I love short hair. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I've been a flight attendant for a while. And like I said, because I don't know what I want, this process takes <laughs> longer because now I have to figure out what I want. But yeah, I just want to film the process of my hair. And then if I decide to put it out, I can just put it out because my boyfriend thinks that I should definitely <laughs> record myself doing my hair. So here we go, guys. This is it. We are doing it. Um, okay, so this reminds me a little bit <laughs> of my high school days because I went to school in West Africa and we had to braid our hair like this for school because they did not want you spending your time trying to find 
like the latest wigs or weave and sewings and stuff. So you braid your natural hair down and that was it. So I tapped into my high school days and I braided my hair. Um, the reason I braided it uh, smaller is because I want it to last. And I have it parted here because I want this to fall this way and then these to come this way. I don't know if it's actually, ooh, I might have made a mistake. I actually like my hair to go this way, but whatever, we'll fix it. Hey guys, so I honestly did not know what the back of my hair looked like, but you can see I'm currently turning around and showing you what it looks like. So I hope you get the clear picture. Okay, so when my hair was previously down, when I showed you guys, um, I didn't, if you notice, I didn't braid them up. I rather just left them down. So I'll show you now. And the reason why I did that is because I want to be able to put my hair up in like a ponytail. And when I did the um, crochet, I put two braids together and then I crocheted one hair down, two braids together, crocheted the hair down until it got to the back. Here. So when you see this, I'm able to pull this up and put a few more hair in here, crocheted, and put it in a ponytail. It doesn't make sense right now, I know, but it will make sense later. Alright, so I started doing the hair already. I've put a couple in and I'm just going to show you guys how I'm doing it. So I take a little portion. In the back, I'm doing, I'm using like bigger portions of hair but in the front I want it to look as natural as possible so I'm using like smaller versions of the hair if you want. so what I do is I go under the braids put that on top close that pull it through and then do that so I use these two put them through once going twice and then on the third one I do one two and then I do that so then it looks natural I'm gonna do another one this time I'm gonna go closer so there we go again this is a little portion of the hair curls so I go under closely under you do one, pull it through, close, do that, pull it through the hair underneath, and then you go one, two, on the third strike, you open up the hair like that, and then you pull one, two. And then you pull them through like that. I hope this makes sense. All right, so that's how it is. That's how the I did all of those. And yes, I will come back. And when I'm doing the front here, so you guys can see. I love these curls. I love that they're so free, and I can brush them if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna brush them right now. So remember when I said that I had braided the hair in the wrong way? I did. I actually realized that I like my hair to be pulled to the left side and not on the right side. So what I ended up doing was I crocheted the hair 
backwards, kind of like this, from this angle. This is what I did in this angle like this. I actually did three for this one. Three, and then I did one, two, and then that way. Yeah, so then I had the hair falling this way, so all of the hair fell this way. So now I still have to fill in the parts back there, but it won't be as much hair that I will be adding anymore because I think I already have too much hair and I don't want to look ridiculous. So, <laughs> a little bit more hair to cover the back part and then we are done. So there's a little technique that I use when I'm doing my hair so that when I'm done, I don't have to sit here and try to figure out how to cut it and shape it. So I shape it as I go. That's the other to create this volume here. You need to have some shorter pieces and some longer pieces. So what I do is, I'll get a hair like this, split him open to about this size here. And then what I do is I fold them like this. So you have a longer piece down here and the shorter piece here. And when I do the hair, I do them like this. So you see here, you have a longer piece. So on the regular, when I'm not shaping the hair, I, I do this, I fold them equally. But when I'm trying to shape them, then I will leave a shorter piece up top and a longer piece on the bottom. And I do that. And this is how you crochet your hair regularly, pull and put them in there twice, three times, however you feel secure. And then the shorter piece, you take the shorter piece and pass them through, pass them through three times for the front and then you pull down. So then you have this piece up here and then the longer piece down. And that's how you start to create the shape. Now when you're done, you don't have to cut your hair since I'm not good at cutting. So I developed this method so that I don't have to cut my hair in a weird way and not like it. And then everything that I did was in vain. So one, two. Then you pull the shorter piece. Or three, however, you think it's gonna be secure. Then you pull that up top, All right? Give yourself a little bit of volume right there. Um, All right, the things I do for you guys, I've added way too much hair right here, and it looks a little puffy, but the bigger, the better. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> I didn't cut anything. So like when I'm done and ready to cut something, it'll probably be like these little leftover ones here that I can cut. But like I really am bad with cutting. So I just had to come up with creative ways to help shape my hair so that I don't cut and mess up the entire hair. But if you're good at cutting, hey, have at it. <laughs> I just feel like this gives me more volume and I don't have to cut my hair. All right, so I will be back to show you the finished look. I still have to work these three braids. So, let you know when I'm done. <laughs> okay, so I just did a whole rundown. I didn't press record. I thought it was recording, but <laughs> this is the finished look. Uh, what I did was I used this uh, shame spray it's pink. Uh, I got it for $2.29 in a dollar store. So it helps to 
give your hair a little bit of shine, a little bit of detangling. So it's good for your hair. And I just used it to detangle the like little pieces of the hair. Really, this hair isn't tangling much for now. <laughs> And I'm hoping that it stays this way, uh, but I will provide an update. I have one left and a half. This is the half, maybe. I'd say just, <laughs> I use three. This is the hair. It's called Brazilian French Wave. And I got it at the do um, not dollar store. I got it at a beauty supply in my area for $5.99. So guys, this is very affordable like anybody can afford this uh and as i was saying before i realized that my phone wasn't recording um actually i will end up doing like a little chip right here at some point but for now i like to at least when i do my hair give it like a maybe a couple of days style it one way enjoy the full length of the hair uh that's what i came up with that method because I'm also really bad at cutting hair. Um, so I get to enjoy the full length of the hair and then maybe in a couple days or like a week, then I can like cut and play around with it because then if I mess up, I can just stick the whole thing down, you know. <laughs> it's no problem there, I can do it myself. Uh, so yeah, this hair, I didn't quite time this, but the braiding and let me see what time it is now. Okay, so I wanna say, it's 10 o'clock p.m. now. I wanna say I probably started doing my hair at like four or five-ish. So if you're really focused, you can do this hair in six hours max with the braids and the crochet and everything. But if you don't wanna do your braids really small like mine, then it can probably take you three hours or three and a half hours. Because I was going in and out and talking to my boyfriend and stuff like that when I was doing my hair. So that's why it probably took me this long. But next time I will try to time it so I can have an accurate time for you guys. Because right now I'm just saying gibberish. Okay, so he's coming. <laughs> yeah, sure, hey, you guys. Are you ready to have the time of your life? Yes, it is. Ready to have the time of your life? Oh, are you ready to make unlimited money and have the time of your life? You don't you don't like that? Are you ready to make unlimited money and have the time of your life? What are you talking about? Are you ready to answer the yes or no question? Are you ready to make unlimited money and have the time of your life? I'm ready to have You are a ride! How do we do it? I'm very picky though. <laughs> I gotta go.